Today I'm busy making potato knishes. This is something I used to actually buy these frequently when I lived in the north end of Winnipeg at Gunn's Bakery. And potato knishes are uh, a really fun kind of a little dough bun filled with this potato and onion filling. Um, they're really, really tasty. You dip them in sour cream. They're just really, really good. And I always think of uh, the Golden Girls whenever I think of Knishes because Sophia uh, was dating this Jewish guy named Max. And together they opened up a pizza Knish stand uh, on the beachfront in Miami. <laughs> Okay, so I've just boiled my potatoes. I've just mashed them up. Uh, it's okay if they're not completely mashed, if you have a little bit of lumps in them because it gives some texture and some taste in your Kiddush. I've caramelized some onion that's going to be mixed in with my potatoes um, with a little bit of thyme, salt, and pepper uh, with that. And so now I'm just getting ready to make my dough. So uh, I'm just gonna start by mixing my dry ingredients together. I've got uh, two cups of flour, so we're just going to put that into a larger bowl. I've got a teaspoon of baking powder. Baking powder. I always want to say soda, but it's powder. And a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Just going to put that in and mix this all up. So I've got my flour mixed together. I'm just going to make like a little uh, well in the middle of it. So just a little kind of a dent there. And then I'm going to mix together my wet ingredients. So I've got one beaten egg here in a dish. I've got one third cup of vegetable oil or schmaltz you can use. I, I won't be able to get schmaltz here, um, which is that chicken fat. But uh, I'm going to use this. I've got one teaspoon of white vinegar. So we'll add that in. And three tablespoons of warm water. So we'll add that in and we'll give this a mix. Okay, but now that this is mixed together, we're gonna add this to our flour into our little well in the middle. and start to bring the flour in from the sides. I'm gonna to start to get in there now with my hands as this is starting to kind of come together as a bit of a dough. If it's too dry, you might need to add a little bit more warm water, but we'll just keep working on it. Yep, I'm definitely gonna to have to add a little bit more water. I think I had a little bit more than two cups of flour. I probably didn't measure that very well. So just when you're doing this, just add a little bit of time. Don't add too much at once, a little bit at a time. Keep working it. Yeah, I maybe added about another tablespoon of water. So it's now turning into the dough. So now we're just gonna kind of knead this a bit. Okay, I think our dough is just about done and ready. So I'm just gonna uses a little bit of uh, oil left here. I'm just going to put this into this dish. And I'm just going to let this sit on the counter for about half an hour, just at room temperature. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my dough to sit for a while, I'm going to finish my filling. So I've mashed up my potatoes. And to that, I'm going to add my caramelized onions. So we'll just get those in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, cause I don't have any schmaltz, I'm gonna take some chicken bouillon. So a little brick of that. And just put that in a measuring cup with a couple of teaspoons of water, some warm water. A tablespoon, sorry. And we're just going to break this down a bit because we want that intense flavor. So we'll just break this down. And then while that's kind of breaking down, we're going to add three tablespoons of sour cream to our 
potatoes and onions. And we'll just give that a mix. Oh my God, this filling smells so good already. It smells like, it smells basically like a, like a pierogi filling almost. The potatoes. Mmm. So give that a really good mix. Get that sour cream well mixed in there and the onions well mixed in there. Okay, so I still got about another 15 minutes to go for the dough. So I'm just gonna put a lid over this filling and put it into the fridge for 15 minutes. All right, let's check on our dough. Oh, it looks good. Let's just put it on a floured surface here. And we're just gonna kind of roll this out a bit. This is nice. This is like a puff pastry dough, so it's really gonna kind of puff up. We're just gonna roll this out. This is in my kitchen. I'm trying to get this nice and thin. It's coming along here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start cutting from the middle because it's probably thinner there. I should have probably cut this into two pieces and rolled it separately, but I think I can do this. So I'm just gonna use this uh, to cut out some circles here. I get a nice size uh, little piece of dough that I'm gonna put my filling in. And then... Okay, now with a little bit of moisture on our fingers, we're just going to bring these in together. So we'll pull two sides up in the middle and then bring these end pieces kind of like a dumpling, but just sort of pinch it all together. Try to keep the filling inside. So you're gonna get like, like a little tiny purse. So next we'll just take a little bit of egg yolk with some water and I just mix that together and we'll just brush the tops of our knishes. Now they'll go straight into the oven, 350 degrees for about 25, 30 minutes. So just keep an eye on them. Turn it nice. The filling alone is delicious. Mm. Okay, let's try one of our knishes. They kind of opened up on me. I didn't pinch them enough uh, properly, so they're really not supposed to open up like that at the top, but that's okay. It's just me eating them and I know they're gonna taste good. So here we go. Let's try a little bit of sour cream on top. Mmm. Mmm. Oh! Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's good. And a pickle. Mmm. Okay, thanks for joining me. Bye for now.